Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a get ready with me with a lot of the products that I have in my project pans this year. So first I'm spraying my face with my Urban Decay B6 Prep Spray and enjoying that a little too much. Then I'm going in with my Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is on its last legs. It's almost time to get a new one, but I have to use it all up. I just don't like throwing something away if it's still useful, so I'm just running that all over my eyelids, all the way up to my brow bone, and underneath the eyelid as well. Just getting that all over the place, just priming all of my eye area. So I didn't show this product because it was a foil packet that I'd squeezed into a little tub. I'm using the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer on my problem areas, just pushing that into my pores on my nose, my cheeks, and then I'll do my forehead and my chin. I just wanted to let that set before I started working on my face. I do like this primer. I'm not sure why I didn't like it the first time I tried it, but it's growing on me, and I think I might need to get a little travel size. So now I'm going in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Pomegranate Punk. I'm just going to put this on my eyelid and blend it out a little bit. This one is a little bit sheer, so it takes a little bit of working to get the color payoff that you want, but oh well. Then I'm taking a brush that I got from my Ipsy bag. This is from Crown Brush. I'm not exactly sure of the name, but it's a dual-ended brush. I'll put everything in the down bar if you want to check that out, if you're curious about anything that I'm using. So I'm using the color Dolce from the Stila Not So Nude palette. This is my Pan That palette selection for this year. And Dolce is one of those colors that I don't really like, uh, so I'm trying to use it up. I'm going in now with a Delium Tools 776 in that shade Fawn, and just running that through my crease to help blend out the lid color, just to help soften it before we add any more depth to the, to the crease. Now I'm going in with the Soho brush. There isn't a name on the brush, but I will try and look it up. And I'm going into the shade Buff and just running that above my crease just to blend out that shade Fawn. Now I'm going in with a primer, and I have no idea what this primer is, unfortunately. This was sent to me for a product review from the Pink Panel, and it's just a pore and shine control primer. I wish that they had told us what this was that we were testing out, because I really do like this primer, and I would love to get my hands on the actual product, but I do apologize for that. Something similar is like the NYX Angel Veil or the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Now that my primer is on, I'm going in with my foundation. I'm mixing two right now, the Lumine Time Freeze Anti-Age Color Correcting Cream in Light and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 101 Classic Ivory. Both of these are in panning projects, and I do like both of them. They're not an exact color match, so I mix them together and make it work. I'm just blending that in with my Beauty Blender. I have sped this up quite a bit just because I'm sure you guys know how to blend in your 
foundation. So And I always make sure to blend down my neck because sometimes the colors just don't match exactly correct. So now I'm going in with my under eye brightener. This is the Tarina Tarantino Eye Dream Hyper Light. It's a brightening like pink color. It's very similar to the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener if you're familiar with that. I'm just trying to use it up because I had it. I got it in a boxy charm and I do like it quite a bit. And as usual, I'm blending that out with my Beauty Blender. There's no particular reason why I'm using my Beauty Blender over my Ricky Care 3D Blender. It's just what I had, what I grabbed first, and what was clean. So we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other under eye. And just speeding through this as well. Not a super exciting step in the beauty routine here. But I am making sure to blend it around my nostrils because they do get quite red and up and out towards my temples. I feel like it just helps lift the eyes. After that I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye and that's my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It's seen a lot of love and the brush I'm using is a Real Techniques setting brush. I'm making sure to stretch out my under eye so that I don't press the powder into any creases. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face using the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Airbrushing Pressed Powder in Translucent. And I'm applying that with an e.l.f. Kabuki brush. My next step is brows, and this is my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder, and I'm using a Billion Dollar Brows Brow Brush. So I'm just brushing through my eyebrows, and then I'll take the darker color and run that on the tail of my brow. Again, I've sped this section up because I take forever to do my brows. So I'm using the darker color on the outer two-thirds of my eyes and then going in with the lighter shade for the inner third, just blending those two colors together so it's not as harsh. It all ends up looking the same anyway. And we'll go ahead and do the same exact thing on the other eye, or on the other eyebrow, excuse me. making sure we're sort of even. That'll do. Then I'm using the tiniest eyeliner known to man. That is my Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in zero. I'm hopefully almost finished with that. I'm tight lining my eyelids first. This is torturous. I literally hate this, but it makes everything just look a lot better. Then I'll run this in my waterline. I'm going in with a flat brush. This is the e.l.f. Flat Eyeliner Brush and I'm dipping that into the shade Mink from the Stila palette. I'm just blending that black eyeliner out a little bit, smudging it. Sometimes when the brush doesn't do what it's supposed to do, you just use your fingers. Then I'm going to go ahead and dip another brush. This is a blending brush. I'm not sure where the brush is from because there's nothing on the brush. But I'm dipping that into Fawn and blending my lower lash line out even further. So I've done that to both of my eyes now and then I'm going to go ahead back into that color Mink. Tap the brush off really well and start deepening up my outer V and blending that color into my crease just to add a little bit more dimension to the eye look. Blending is key 
especially with mink, it's very, very pigmented. So you really have to be gentle with it and build it up and not go too crazy. I've learned my lesson the hard way. And I like using circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions. It just helps the color blend out better. And I'm not super happy with the way it looks, so I'm going to go back in with that Soho brush into the color buff and blend above my crease just to soften that up again. And on the other eye. Then I'm going in with this really small eyeshadow brush. This actually came in an Ipsy bag many years ago and I'm first dipping it into sugar and putting that in my inner corner and I didn't like the way that that looked by itself so I mixed sugar with Stila Kitten to make it a little bit brighter. I'm not really feeling it but I'll go ahead and even it up on both sides. Then I'm going in with a different eyeshadow. That little palette is a Glam RX palette, which also came in an Ipsy bag. And the color I'm going into is from Yabi Cosmetics. It's the shade called Seashell. And it's a satiny white cream color. I'm going to take that in my inner corners as well as my brow bone. Just to add a little bit of brightness there without it being too harsh. Then we'll do liquid eyeliner. That's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. And I've sped this up quite a bit. I really like to focus and move very, very slowly when it comes to eyeliner because once you mess up, it's hard to fix. So I really like to concentrate and make sure that my hand is steady and I'm not blinking and get that wing nice and crisp. I don't like to do a big wing by any means, but I do like to add a little bit of something there, a little flick. And we'll try and do the other side and make it hopefully as even as possible. I really do like this eyeliner. It makes a wing very, very easy. So if you're new to liquid eyeliner, I would totally recommend checking out that Kat Von D eyeliner. It'll do. Then I have this Luxie brush. It's the large angled 504 and I'm going into the Balm's Balm Desert. It's a, it's a bronzer and a blush and I use this mostly as a bronzer. I'll go onto my cheekbones and up to my temples and just blend that out a little bit. It just adds a little bit of definition and color to my pair to my pale face. And I make sure to blend it into the hairline. And then I'll take a little bit more and just add a little bit to my nose just to slenderize that a little bit. Then I'm going into blush. That is a Revlon blush in the color Marvelous. And I'm taking that on a Real Techniques blush brush. This blush takes a little bit to build up, which is actually a good thing for me because I don't like to overdo it. I like to build it up first. Now I'm going in with my setting spray. I just like doing this before I do my mascara or my brow powder. No, <laughs> my brow gel and my highlight. I just feel like my skin ends up looking better when I do my setting spray before that. So that's the Anastasia brow gel in clear. Just set everything down. And 
And this is the mascara I'm using right now. I'm not really a fan of it. It came in a birch box. It's the Ico Black Magic Mascara for Drama and Curl. I don't know about Drama and Curl. It does define and lengthen a little bit, but it doesn't add any volume and it doesn't really help with curl. But I'm using it just to use it. It's okay, but not my favorite. So if you were thinking about picking it up, I would say go with something else. It does work well for the lower lashes, though. Can you tell that I'm really blind by the way I'm holding this mirror up to my face? <laughs> Okay, back into the Stila palette, I'm going into Kitten with my finger, and I'm just going to tap that onto my cheekbones in sort of a C motion, just to add that highlight. I love Kitten as a highlight. It is so beautiful. I cannot get over it. Same thing on the other side, just blending that around with my finger. I'm going to go back into it again for my cupid's bow as well as the tip of my nose. I am living for that tip of the nose highlight right now. It is so beautiful. And the finishing touch is lipstick. This is my NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Pops. Also came from an Ipsy bag. It's just a beautiful natural color. These are not long wearing by any means, but they are so pretty. They just feel so nice and comfortable on the lips, and this is just the perfect neutral everyday color. So that's pretty much it. I'm about to wrap this up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you. Bye!